to talk to you today about supplements. Should you take them? Should you not take them? Are they good for you? Are they bad for you? Supplements are usually given to people when there is a deficient in their diet. They're not getting enough vitamins or minerals. So a supplement is given to them because there is a deficiency. And so the supplement is kind of the bridge from what they're actually getting from their food to what the body actually need to function in a proper way. Um, a supplement can be anything from vitamins, vitamin A, any of the B vitamin C, any minerals, calcium, magnesium, iron, or protein, you know, there's protein supplements, um, collagen supplements. So a supplement is just anything that your body needs to function with, and it's not getting it through natural means as far as food, or your body is no longer producing enough of those particular vitamins, minerals, or whatever it may be, because there's something wrong with your the way your system function, or because you're getting older. Sometimes when you start getting older, your body is now breaking down, so it's not working as efficient as it, as it used to. So you may take supplements for that reason. A supplement can come in the form of either pills, liquids, powders, gummies. It can be any of those things. So is a supplement good or bad? I would say a supplement is, you would take a supplement to enhance what you're not getting. So it, it's not good or bad. It's based on if you need it. How would you know if you need a supplement or not? Is by going to your doctor, getting blood work done, and they can see based on your your levels of your irons, your vitamins, and your minerals, different things like that, if you're getting enough. If not, they might say to you, hey, you need to either eat more iron-enriched food or eat food that has more vitamins or more minerals, or they might actually tell you, you need more vitamin D, so get a, a prescription. I mean, excuse me, go, go get a, a vitamin or a sub, you know, a vitamin supplement, or you need more K and go get a vitamin or you know, supplement for that. So that's basically what a supplement is. So a supplement inherently is not good or bad. It just depends on if you need to take it or not. And then some people have certain goals they want to reach, and they're they know just by eating food they're not going to be able to reach those goals. So they add supplements to their diets to give them more of what they need to either grow their bodies if they're doing bodybuilding or different things like that. So like I said, it's not good or bad. It's just based on your needs and what you're trying to do with your body or if you're just trying to keep your body healthy. We should always turn to food which is a natural source of vitamins, minerals, protein, collagen, and all that. In some cases, people, for whatever reason, their body might not, even they, though they might be eating healthy, their body might not be able to ingest those vitamins, those minerals like it should, and that can cause a deficiency. Or for instance, a person might eat a lot of fruit and they might have a fungus in them called candida. Candida. What that fungus do, it loves sugar. And so if they eat a lot of fruit, which has natural sugar in it, it can cause that infection, which, which would end up turning into a yeast infection. So they would have to stop eating the fruit. There's other things that can cause candidas, but one of the things is sugar. And fruit does have a lot of sugar, especially when it's dried fruit. It has more sugar. So if they're eating fruit and it's not work, it's working against their body, they will have to stop eating the fruit. So then they will have to turn to supplements. So it's not as far as should you take supplements, are they good or they bad? Is if you need them, then yes, you can take them to help out to make sure your body is functioning at its highest level. The question should be, as far as the supplements themselves, are they quality supplements or are they not quality supplements? Because if you're taking a vitamin B12 pill, you expect certain things from them. If that particular company manufacturer is not putting 
you know, they're, they're using a lot of fillers. They're only putting a small amount of vitamin B in there and the rest is just filler. Then that's not a good quality supplement. You want to, uh, you want to make sure the supplements that you are taking are good quality. So you're getting the nutrients that you're missing by eating food. So you want to make sure you're getting them with the supplement. So the, the a lot of times you hear people like, you know, just do this, just do that. And it can be overwhelming as far as, do I need to take the supplement? Should I not take the supplement? Should I just make sure I'm eating healthy as far as vitamins? I'm sorry, as far as vegetables or as far as fruit. It's a case by case basis. It would be hard for myself or any individual to look at a person and say, this is what you need unless you are their doctors, unless you're looking at their lab works, their blood works, unless you know how their body function, you know, because no one's going to come up to you and tell you, hey, I got a yeast infection. Should I continue to eat fruit? No, they're not going to say that, but they will have that conversation with their doctor. So that's why it's important to understand your body and what your body needs. If you can't get everything you need in fruits and vegetables, then it's okay to turn to supplements. Just make sure you're using good quality supplements when you're taking them. Peace.